Good afternoon, Sue McCarty here, registered holistic nutritionist. It's the first day of summer, it's quite warm outside, and we're gonna talk about hydration. Along with the summer comes the heat, comes the sunshine, we're outside more. Although it's always important to hydrate, it becomes even more of a concern in the warmer weather. Did you know that 60 to 80% of your body is made up of water? Um, and water is amazing at promoting detoxification. It helps boost your metabolism and helps with weight loss. It can help suppress appetite. It can help increase your energy and mental alertness. Um, so there's a lot of benefits for drinking water and staying hydrated. Um, so I'm gonna give you today six tips to stay hydrated for summer 2023. Tip number one, how much water should you be drinking? Well, you take your body weight in pounds and you divide that by two, and that's the number of ounces that you should drink every day. So if, for example, if you weighed 150 pounds, you would need 75 ounces per day minimum of water to stay hydrated, uh, which is just over nine cups. So you can do the math on that depending how much you weigh. And again, that's the bare minimum, so you would want to drink even more than that if you're exercising or if it's really hot outside. Just a side note, coffee is actually a diuretic. It actually dehydrates you. So theoretically, for every one cup of coffee that you drink, you need to replace that with two cups of water. Unsweetened herbal tea does count towards your water intake for the day, as long as it's not sweetened. Tip number two, consuming water-based fruits and vegetables throughout the day. This is amazing for your overall health anyways. They're full of vitamins, minerals, fiber, antioxidants to help keep you healthy and give you the maximum energy. So some examples of water-based fruits might include any type of berries, blueberries, blackberries, uh, strawberries, um, pineapple, peaches. Um, what are some other water-based fruits? Any sort of melon, cantaloupe, especially watermelon. Everybody loves watermelon in the summer and there's a reason for it. It's hydrating your body. And some of the water-based vegetables to include would be any sort of salad green. Um, again, high in vitamins and minerals to help keep you properly nourished, but high water content as well. Any color of bell peppers, cucumbers, broccoli, zucchini, those are also high in water. Celery is very, very high in water as well. So incorporating those foods throughout the day will also help boost your hydration. Tip number three, start your day with one to two cups of warm lemon water. Now I'm preaching this all the time and it's probably the number one way to help your body with detoxification. When we have lemon water in the morning, it will actually uh, stimulate bile production because your liver works all night to detox all of the toxins that it's been exposed to. So having a one to two glasses of warm lemon water will stimulate that bile production that helps carry the toxins out of your body. So number one way to detoxify, plus when you start your day with one to two cups of lemon water, you've already boosted your hydration for the day. So that's a fantastic, easy tip that can be incorporated right away. Um, have this before you have your coffee, before you have your breakfast. Tip number four, water does not have to be boring. I often hear people say, I don't like water, water doesn't taste like anything, it's boring, but it really doesn't have to be. You can spice it up by squeezing some lemon and lime into your water. Um, today, I just threw some frozen blueberries and strawberries into the water. Um, to infuse it with a nice berry taste, but you could also put pineapple in, in your water and it'll give it a nice flavor. Plus it's giving you a little dose of electrolytes and vitamins and minerals in that water as well. So that's a tip to make it a little more interesting. Um, you could also try incorporating a unsweetened sparkling water. So a Perrier or a Bubbly, there are zero calories in this, zero sugar, but it makes drinking water a little more special. You can have it chilled, you can have it with ice, it's gonna be nice and fizzy and have a nice natural fruit flavor. So I usually have at least one of these a day um, just to kind of make drinking water a little bit more special. And the final tip is that when it's hot, water may not be enough on its own. 
So you can focus on drinking all of that water, but when it's super hot outside or you're working outside or you've been exercising and sweating excessively, sometimes water is not enough. Drinking a lot of water may just increase your blood volume, but it may not actually get the hydration into your cells. So that is where electrolytes come into play. So you may wish to consider adding in an electrolyte this summer if you work outside, if you spend a lot of time outside, if you exercise a lot, um, you may need that electrolyte to actually get the hydration into your cells. So that's your sodium, your potassium, your magnesium, and I'm not talking about Gatorade with artificial colors and sweeteners. I'm talking about a natural electrolyte. You can order them online. I've purchased recently Organica, which is sweetened with, um, I believe, stevia or unsweetened cane sugar. Um, so there are some more natural options without the added colors and sugars, uh, but then you're getting your so sodium, potassium, magnesium to actually hydrate your body on a cellular level. So check that out. I believe Element is another brand that um, has zero sugar. So there are some good ones out there and then you just add it to your water and it helps boost your hydration on a cellular level. Um, so there's six easy tips and tricks for you to try this summer to stay well hydrated as things heat up for summer. If you wish to book a personal consultation with me, I hold office hours at the Caledon East Family Chiropractic Clinic every Thursday from 2 till 6 p.m. I would love to meet you and work on a personal nutrition plan for you. Cheers to your health and have a great summer.